So this is the video recorded on Zoom. I just started Zoom meeting, clicked record, and this is what I'm getting. I'm going to show you in a second how you can improve the quality of this video because as you could see, the quality is not the best. Okay, and this is the video recorded during the same Zoom session. However, I'm using different microphone source and also have the HD quality enabled. It's still not perfect, but I think you can see it is slightly better than the previous video without the HD quality. Okay, so first of all, to change your video settings, mouse over the arrow next to the camera and then the menu appears and click on video settings. I'm going to do this now. And this is the screen that appears. What you need to do on the left hand side here, you have your video settings and make sure that this button here is clicked. So enable HD. You see the difference? That's what happens. It adds just a bit of sharpness and it also kind of made it a bit more wide angle. And then if you want uh, some further improvement, uh, you can apply a bit of filter or whatever it is. And then you can go to advanced settings and make sure that all of them are clicked. Then for your audio settings, don't click on the microphone, but the arrow next to the microphone. And then you have your audio settings here. Click on that. And this is the screen that appears. So it's exactly the same screen that we've seen before where you see your audio settings. So once you do the video, you can also jump to audio. You can change the speakers, the microphone from here as well. But what we are interested in are really advanced settings. So here you have a few options for noise cancellation. So the first one here is the one uh, that cancel kind of constant noise uh, in your background. Heaters, air conditioning, fridges, anything like that uh, would be cancelled and play around with this. Um, you can have auto, moderate, aggressive or completely disable it. Depending on, on the area or circumstances, I use either moderate or aggressive. Also, the second one uh, is kind of good for live sessions or maybe screencasts where you do a fair amount of typing or clicking. So this these are sounds like um, your keyboard sound, moving chairs, um, kind of squeaking a little bit. So that cancels this as well. And you have a few other settings here as well. So as if you're recording, you can also click this optimize for third party video editor, just in case. So from here you can change your microphones, but you can also change your microphones by clicking on this arrow and there is a select microphone. So if you have more than one option connected to your PC, they should appear here. 